Who am I? I am a silence breaker. I am a women's rights advocate. I am the founder of Women in Action for Women in Uganda. I have worked to get a resolution passed in the Ugandan Parliament. I am a founding member of the Global Survivor Network. We are an international group of survivor leaders who desire and pursue safe communities through justice systems that protect the most vulnerable. I am raising my voice. I am speaking out. I am Victoria Nyangura. I have not always been as you see me now. Life can change in an instant. On an October night, back in 1996, I was abducted and held in captivity for eight years. In an instant, I went from an innocent schoolgirl to a captive held by the Lord's resistance army. Forced into the rank of the countless many, known throughout the world as the physically and sexually exploited. I will never forget the day my children and I escaped from our captives. I'll never forget the day I learned of my scholarship to do my graduate studies at the University of Notre Dame in the United States. My calling in life has been to seek the restoration and justice for survivors of war and sexual violence. I have worked at different level to break the silence on the challenges and the experiences of women and children during and after war. We have a voice and many of us are willing to speak. We need to be in places where decisions are made and where the policies are formed. This is what true collective strength means, including the people closest to the ground reality, into the work itself, into the program building, and into the policy making. I began to understand collective strength through the Women's Advocacy Network in Uganda. 900 women and myself used peer support and storytelling to share our experiences and facilitate the healing processes. We petitioned the Parliament of Uganda to remedy the plight of survivors of sexual violence and war in northern Uganda and unanimously passed a resolution and then a policy for transitional justice. My desire is that we as survivors continue to speak so our stories will help to shed light in these dark places and pave way for our future generations. When everything like survivors are speaking up, you know, yes, this exists. This is what we think would work best for us. At the international level, you come to inform those who make policies on how maybe funds should be channeled. It is no longer we are planning for you, but tell us what you think it is and how you feel you should be helped. When survivors are at the table where decisions are made, change happens. When one survivor speaks out, when a hundred survivors speak out, when thousands of survivors speak out, the silence will be broken. A chorus of justice will ring out in this world. Listen to me. Listen to us. Who am I? I am Victoria Nyangura.